Hello coding aliens, welcome to my youtube channel code with the key. How are you doing guys? So in this video, we are going to learn the deployment part of our MERN application and this will be a very very important part of any project because it makes your project going global and you can access it over a URL. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can deploy your MERN project on Heroku platform as you can see here I have already deployed four different one projects on the Heroku so one more projects that I'm going to deploy it on the Heroku and will share the link to you guys so you can also deploy your own project on the free uh, hosting platform so in this part we will going to discuss about the Heroku CLI the get and we the installation processes you need to set up before deployment parts so watch the video till the end i hope you guys definitely learn the deployment part very easier because we are going to discuss all the niche concept for any deployment like any deployment strategy and and if you are a very beginner for this so this video is definitely for you all guys so this makes your de deployment life very easier so let's go and start the process right now so guys as you can see here we have this medium clone that is already built in the MERN application the MERN technology so you can see here we have all these things which is running on the local host 80 so if we talk about the project or the file structure so let's go to our visual studio code and you can see here we have a very separate backend folder here and we have very separate front end module here and in the package.json we have integrated the backend and and front end which is running simultaneously using this start command so this is the how our project project structures is looking alike uh, right now so you can see here it is a very modular or very slick design pattern or you can see a uh, configurations for any modern applications so here our back end and the front end is in a different uh, folders which can be uh, which makes our life very easier in the development process so my concern here is that how you guys going to deploy it on the Heroku so first of all we will going to talk about the prerequisites before deploying any projects on web so first you guys need the git setup the git bash command or you can see here you guys need to need to install the git in your local machine then the second thing you need to do is Heroku CLI installation so you can see here this is our Heroku CLI page where you can get a link to install this Heroku CLI because Heroku CLI through Heroku CLI, we will set our remote uh, Heroku host from our local machine. So here is the link for the link for installation of Heroku. So when you install the Heroku using this or through the npm package, you can check the version of Heroku from here. So here we can see here the version of Heroku by simple command like when you have successfully installed Heroku you will able to see the version of Heroku which tells us about the Heroku deployment is Heroku CLI installation is going is perfect for, for us here so here for so here we will talk about a very important thing that we need to write a script which going to run on our Heroku Dynos, uh, we will also talk about what is Dynos in uh, Heroku. But here you need to somehow write a script which is going to run when you deploy your code on Heroku platform. So here I'm just going to write a script with the name of Heroku Heroku Post Build. So this is the, just the name of the script that I'm going to write here and this script will going will going to execute when we 
push our code on Heroku and it will automatically deploy our application on Heroku. And whatever the changes you guys just do here, you just need to commit that changes and the change is going to directly deflect into our Heroku application. So this is the one time setup you guys need to do that. So here we will using a npm config production. So here is the script that I am going to write here and it is it is just like a magic and it just work like a magic here and it just simply makes our deployment process very very easier and lot more easier for us to do the deployment stuff here so here first of all we have set the np config production is to false and then what we will do we will install our front end libraries first of all using the npm so here we will use the command npm install and for which because we are using a front end folder so here we will add a prefix here front end like this similarly when our when all the packages has been installed in the front end then we will make a customized production build for our front end package so how we can do this so you just need to add npm run build so very easy command we all are very familiar with the npm start npm install or npm run build command so for that we also add this for the prefix and here is the front end now the next part is like here so you can see here this a start button this a start is a very very important it will simply restart our dynos immediately whenever there is any changes in our front end or in the back end file so it makes our deployment life very easier so this is the mere just a small script that i am i have written here it will going to run by its own when we just do a deployment test of using the heroku cli so next step is to here just open the terminal and here first of all you need to log in from the heroku so here use the heroku login it will simply prompt a window in your browser just to log in here so here i am just going to log in here now you can see here we have the window prompt here click on this login you can see when it is logged in you will get the details right over in your terminal here so here i am logged in with this so this is how you can see here it is it is uh, deployed here so now our next step is to push this uh, push this application on onto the heroku app now so here uh, we have lo successfully logged in our Heroku application now from the CLI. The next step is to create a application or app on Heroku dashboard. So there is a two option like you can directly go here and just create a new application from here or else you can use a CLI to create a new app. So it is very easy for creating an app here. So just you, you need to give the name here. So I just give it the name medium clone so here it will check the name so it is available let's click on the create app so now you can see here the app is now created so here you will get the deployment method we have the three methods one for the container registry you can directly connect it to the github and push your code on the github and it will directly make the code live or changes has been directly pushed to this uh, heroku using the github and your application going to uh, live every time you push your code directly on the github or else you can use the heroku git cli for uh, deployment to make it and uh, to make the deployment more easier like so in the uh, in using the github uh, github deployment part you will direct directly get uh, you just need you need not anything like a uh, cli or else you just simply need to push your code on the github and it will automatically make your code live on the live url or else you can use this heroku cli so in this tutorial we are going to talk about the heroku cli deployment part so here 
you get here the things uh, like here so you just need to create a new repository for if if you have a new already if you have not initialized your git pro, git repository yet so you can use this command to make it uh, make it happen or else you can directly push it in the, on the on the on which branch you are working here like like here so our next our next process or the, our next step is from the cli so what we will do we'll just save our changes first of all here so let's save our package.json and here we will add get in it let's check it is initialized or not yeah it is initialized here so here we have initialized it and now what i will do i will simply add our changes so here our all the changes has been now going to a state so let's check the status first of all so here now our working working branch is clean here working tree is now clean perfect okay so here you just need to create a heroku remote services so here this command will help you to create the heroku this is i just tell you this is one time setup once you have deployed your application on heroku next time you just need to push your changes on that and just simply uh, run the command using the heroku branch so this is very very easy step and it is one time setup and your all things just going like uh, automatic it just do everything here okay so here you just need to create a remote gate branches to set up your project here so here you can see first of all let's check the uh, remote version first of all so here you can use the gate remote minus v so it will it will show you the remote version of this so here you can see here the origin is the our remote branch here is the origin so here we will create another origin remote origin like this heroku using the heroku command get remote and here just give the name of the name of the application that we have created here so this is the name of the application medium clone let's copy it here and paste it here so this will create a heroku remote just you can see here this is this will create a heroku branch like uh, sorry the heroku uh, origin remote origin so from where you can simply push your code through this heroku remote origin now you can see here if you write uh, get remote minus v you can see here we have now heroku and we have the origin also so here this git.heroku.com is the uh, git uh, heroku git so the code that is going to directly push pushed to the uh, heroku and if you want to push it to the github so you can use the uh, origin here so we have done with this so we have created our uh, remote uh, heroku remote version here and now you can we are ready to push our code directly to our github uh, github uh, branches here or the uh, sorry the heroku remote branches here so this is how you can do this now the our next step is uh, to just push the code directly to uh, the main so before pushing we just need to commit so let's commit with it some message our work unless our working tree is clean but still our working tree is clean so on the commit message is also showing our, our commit is clean okay so whatever the uncommitted changes there will be a counter that is going on here so it just show you the uncommitted changes so we we don't have any uncommitted changes here so our all changes have been already pushed here so we are now able to push our code to the main branch so here we will use git push and origin main when i do this origin main it will going to push our code on this url okay and if we use git push heroku main it will push our code to this url right 
so this is how the things is going on so here just hit the enter button and now you can see here the code is going to be posted on the Heroku branch and now what I have said this code this script is going to run in when we will deploy this uh, just hit this command now you can see here this there is some error is coming here or else you can see here this is our config this is the command that is going to run automatically here okay so first of all let's check uh, what's the error is coming as i can see here there is a version mismatch so here uh, we just need to add a npm install force force so that it install uh, install the peer dependencies together here so let's save this once again you need to add the changes then commit the changes and then push the changes so there is a conflict in the version mismatch so it is not able to download the peer dependencies now it it will it will download it so let's make it clear now okay so it is now installing it as it will take some time because it will create a build customized production build and then it is it will push the whole thing directly on on the Heroku and uh, here you can see it is installing and okay it, it, the installation is finished now it is creating a pro customized production build here for our front end now you can see here build is succeeded here so our front end build is completed now it is compressing the whole customized production build in a very very uh, efficient way and just push it directly on the Heroku web dynos so let's see so now you can see here our build is completed and now you can see here the whole thing is just com compressed and this is done in this so here the version and the release is done here and now you can access this url to see whether it is live on or not so this is the url that it is it has returned here and now boom here is our live url that we have hosted it on heroku so now you can access this url and you can see the, your all the code that you have done we have done here it is now make online so that's it this is the very easy step that you guys simply put your application directly on or simply host your application on Heroku which is a free platform it provide you a five project spaces so if you are using a free version of this you will get a five uh, five free projects or the five free applications that you will create or deploy it here so here you can see the medium clone key it's is our application it is deployed and what what if you guys need to make check the logs of it so you can see the logs is coming here here you will see all the logs like here the mongodb connected successfully so it is for the debugging processes here so here is the deployment part we are done with this so this is how slick very very easy very very easy things that you guys uh, can see here we have done it here so deployment is not going to be a very hectic for you guys if you are a beginner just follow this simple step for making a deployment like very easier so now we are done with this in this part hope you will definitely watch this video till the end i hope we will make more videos just like this if you have any suggestions related to this well you can simply drop your comments in the comment section so till then have a nice good day bye bye